Ooh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Wherever you are on the diaspora, I hope you are safe. I hope that you are sound. I hope that, um, I mean, that you're not going through too much drama. I don't know how many of y'all have been affected by this COVID, and it seems like I want to give a shout out. I mean, I, actually, I want to do a, like a little roll call. Universe, so you out there? Uh, Yanni, y'all out there? Um, you know, actually, I got a a text from uh, I mean, actually, a comment from one of the subscribers. And um, I think her name was Raquel, and she lived in uh, Nova Scotia. Yeah, no, no, Nova Scotia. I believe that's um, where she lives. And not only um, did she share with me that her father is 81 years old, and he has he has COPD. He has now contracted the virus. Um. And I, I've, I haven't been here for a while. Personally, I've been kind of going through just a little bit. Now it's gotten real, real, real for me. I've lost four people that I know um, who are relatively my age. Um, the latest casualty, let me first of all send my condolences to the Eugene Kane family. To the George Matthews family. Let me um, say I'm so sorry to hear about George. So sorry to hear about Eugene. Uh, Eugene was also a writer, writer for the Milwaukee Journal. Um, he did a little section in the newspaper. But they all came down with COVID-19. African American males, of course. Um, you know, seniors. Uh, so I'm just saying this shit is real. For for those of y'all who still saying this is a hoax, and you know, don't wait until it affects somebody in your house before you see it's real. I see a lot of these governors opening up. And then being just real insane about this whole thing. And all I want to say is this. Black people, use your common sense. All people use your common sense. That's first and foremost. But more specifically to black people, since they said we dying at such an alarming rate. You know, I, I always say when they have a cold, we got AIDS. So when the dominant society is sick, we're on our deathbed. And as you can see, this disease is showing us that. Um, I, I'm just really worried. You know, I really don't want to think about it too much. But, um, you know, it's just scary. What's going on here? And... You know, you have to stay diligent, which I'm, I'm going to do. And I'm going to continue to exercise and uh, try to make sure I um, change some of my habits. Especially when it comes to my greens. Because that's what's really, really worrying me at this point. Uh, I want to give a shout out. There's just so much stuff going on to Tracy. Um, you know, this. Her son. Oh, man. I mean, in spite of all this going on, to have your loved one locked up and not being able to um, see them, not being able to, um, fortunately, you are able to talk to them, but 
you know, her oldest son is locked up right now. And um, the sick part about it is he turned himself in because he knew there were false accusations made against him and went down there and then they end up arresting him and keeping him there and not letting him go. So, you know, it's just been really, really difficult uh, for the last few um, weeks, y'all. It's been really sick over here. And um, you already know I got my mother downstairs. Um, uh, I still trying. I'm finding some solace in some in, in my puppies. Uh, they sh should have all been gone by now, but because of this also coronavirus, they weren't as moving as fast as I wanted them to, or I would have liked them to. So. You know, I told people I'm having a coronavirus special uh, just to get them about my house, you know, um, the few that I got left. So it's it's just been really, really sad. I'm from one thing to the next because that's how this last few weeks have been going. From my friends, people I'm learning, finding out that they had COVID-19 and they passed away. People that I just, you know, whew, it's like, now it's real. Um, I'm listening to a subscriber talk about her father, 81, being diagnosed. You know, I'm wondering, was that what my grandbaby had back here in November? Or January, I believe, where she got real sick and passed it on to me. You know, we all thinking about that stuff now. Now it becomes like real. Like, remember we kept saying, damn, I'm short as breath. Wow. You know, was that COVID? You know, and it's like, ugh. You know, it's not like I'm at a panic state. But it's making me really, really track my steps. And be supremely cautious. Um. My, um, <laughs> you know, my friend makes these masks. So when I do go out, I am ready. I mean, check this out, y'all. When I go outside, let me put my hair down. This is what I'm working with. I'm working with this. And, uh. My friend makes these, by the way. I see everybody that got them now. They're kind of. Since we're going to be. This is going to be a way of life. Uh, it looks like we all better start putting out our masks and stuff. and Or, or beginning to make some. I've been going, if I have to go outside the yard or something, I put this on, you know. Or if I'm not with this one, I'll just take this one out. You know, one thing I like it about them is, uh, you know, it kind of takes the craziness out of things. Like five bucks, by the way. I think she's selling them. Uh, Y'all can go to my true speaker 52 at gmail.com. And she's got all types of designs of a mask like this, you know. But just thinking that this is going to be a way of life now. I, I still see a lot of people outside not covered up at all, you know. And I'm so concerned now that I'm like, damn, you know. It ain't the going out. It's not the going outside part that bothers me, cause I'm I'm pretty much in the house a lot anyway. You know, unless I'm taking my dogs outside, I'm not really outside that much. Um, I you know I'm I'm way past that, <laughs> so that's not something that you know I'm that's bothering me. I got a lot of stuff that I can catch up on, a lot of stuff I can do. So that part doesn't bother me as much. Maybe it should, but it doesn't. 
But I got friends. I got a, a friend, Darlene. I want to give a shout out to her because I know she's got a very compromised uh, immune system like myself. She has lung cancer. And I got to check on her. So, you know, we got all this stuff going on. Um, my friend's son, Kenny. I mean, I just, it's just so much stuff going on that uh, I want everybody under the sound of my voice to take care of themselves. Check in on your family members. Make sure they safe. Watch out for the riffraff because there's a lot of people right now taking advantage of people in this situation. You know, you all, you know, so, I, I mean, they're taking this opportunity to um, actually harass, rob, steal from individuals. I mean, it's all kinds out there, y'all. All kinds. But, um, I wanted to show up and I got a couple more videos I want to do because YouTube has just been taking my videos down. That's why it's just, you know, I'm just trying to hang in there. Um, because, you know, it takes my subscribers. It take my videos down. And I don't see myself doing anything inappropriate. I don't even have any strikes. So I just don't understand what's going on. But, you know, I just keep pushing because, like I said, to some degree, it's some form of... Um, Therapy, because I sure ain't making no money. Okay, so it, it's just a form of therapy for me. But um, I still don't want to be censored. You know what I'm saying? That shit is crazy. But with that being said, guys, I'm going to be back with an, uh, a few more videos. I got some catching up to do and get some stuff up out of me. There's more room out than in. I got a couple articles that I saw that I just want you to Check them out and use your own opinion. But for the rest of my subscribers, I wish y'all check in with me. Um, all of y'all out there, you know, let me know y'all okay. Even if you just say, hey, I'm good. Because I do go down my subscriber list. And I'm going to tell you, it's over a 1,000. It's over um, 2,000 of y'all in there. But now it's down uh, a little bit. So it's probably at least 1,500 of y'all. At least. And if you can't do nothing else, let me know you're good. Just say, aye, aye. Aye, aye. Because we, got, we all connected. And if y'all thought enough to subscribe to this channel, which I humbly appreciate, then I want you to know I love you enough to know that, want to know if you're okay. I really do. I love you enough to want to know if you're okay. So with that being said, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, please share, and um, stay safe out there, family. Stay safe.